The following presentation is rated Web G for general audiences. And now, a BOA.TV original series. Welcome to the family. Previously on Welcome to the Family. We're at the Harley store. Oh, you got some specials back there, huh? We're here to get bow equipment. No! Sabrina! Oh Dang! The incline is crazy. No, we have a blow up. Behind me, there's a ton of traffic. Anyone can entertain you, but only we entertain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Are you ready? Welcome to the family. We are at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Very cool. That's definitely something you gotta see if you're going to Indianapolis. Look, it's Will Power. You think that guy had a winning name? Uh -huh. Whenever you go to places that you've never been to, you look for the people in charge and ask questions. I think they're like around maybe 10 million to buy wow. one. Wow. I, I thought it was just a race track. Yeah. You come out here, it's beautiful. It's kind of cool seeing behind the scenes and the whole history of Formula and NASCAR and seeing how they've shifted over the decades. We have this special training that we do at Bella World. LJ was able to get us VIP behind the scenes of an Italian company that does Formula One cars. Hey, listen, would you like to like, you know, go behind the scenes? I guess the camera has that effect on people. This factory was really cool. We got to go behind the scenes and see exactly how they make the Indy cars. And we got to play with everything, even though no one was there. We had the whole place to ourselves. A really cool treat that we got to experience is that we got invited to the Terre Haute Brewing Company. Terre Haute Brewing Company is a really historical place. You walk in and you can just kind of feel how much history is there. I'll give you a little tour of the place. Right. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Mike, Mike's a partner and he, he literally you? built this place. Yeah, an architectural drawing from 1905. You know, at that time they were, you know, the seventh larger, largest producer of beer in the United States. Yeah, we read that. From right here. They produced so much beer. Five-story kettle was cut through the floors, and you can see here where they're all going up to the to the upper floor mm -hmm. to go into the mash tub. So we got to go behind the scenes and see what the whole process is of making this delicious beer. We actually start out in the back room here. We've got a, a, a mill in the upper room. You just want to open the grain to extract the sugar and, and we'll basically... How long does it have to stay up there? Uh, you know, it's uh, it's a matter of just, yeah, just, just somebody that putting the grain in. It's usually me. And, uh, <laughs> and auger through into this vessel here, which is a mash tun. It's hard to clean. You got to take all these plates out. It fits like a puzzle. It's actually really kind of a lot of work. We actually have four different beers we've done. Once that's achieved, we'll, we'll add hops, which basically beer in its natural state is uh, is very sweet. You know, you basically you have sugar water. In it. This is a manifold that allows us to move water in different directions. Brilliant. And this little U component fits equally on any in any of those pipes. You're standing on the platform of the brew house. This is like the, you got a mash tun here and a kettle yeah. to the left and control panel there in the middle. It'll spend uh, the next couple of weeks. The yeast will, will just attack that sugar and consume it and the, the byproduct being alcohol. <laughs> That's awesome. This was a dream for you one time, right? Oh, absolutely. So absolutely. you're actually living your dream. It's enjoyable to go to work. And it was so neat to be able to get the behind the scenes look on exactly how they make the beer and the history of the entire place. Our beer, you should taste our beer. I got two of these, just so you guys can taste. And that's our carp slayer, that's a pale ale. This is a cream ale and a brown lager. So it's a little strong. This is not Miller Lite or Coors or Budweiser. It's not good. I don't even like leg models. lagers. This is good. Yeah, the, the brown lager is very smooth. Yeah, soft. Oh, that's good. I, I really like that. 
Craft beer is super small production. We only have a 20 barrel system that you saw. We drank one of those 20 barrel tanks in about a, a week. <laughs> We're making it happen at Terre Haute Brewing Company. If you're in Terre Haute, you gotta stop by and taste the beer. Guys, look at this. Amazing! It's like they're dancing. I feel oh. like I'm watching Dancing with the Stars water spout. It's so cool. That's just not the coolest thing. Severe threat. Right, well, we're actually going to Eastland Mall in Evansville, Indiana. We're coming to say hi to a friend. <laughs> the whole trip, we kept wondering how much weight are we actually lugging around? We went to a truck station to weigh our whole rig, basically. We saw a scale that was open for truckers, so we decided, ah, let's find out. We should have done this before we left. And we were 16,700 pounds. I think we're over like 2,500 pounds. That's more than eight tons. However, now that we're on the road, it would be nice because there's certain places we go to that tells you weight limit. Then we got to Nashville where we usually stay and this is going to be an interesting time trying to back up the trailer going downhill backwards. Man, I have already gone to Black Mountain. What other slope is worse than Black Mountain? I had this. Right now we're trying to count how many feet we have back here because we have to make sure that our trailer go into the ground. can fit in this space. I'm sorry, wait, what? We gotta go into the grass. We do? A lot of times I get a lot of constructive criticism coming from the team, but it's a different point of view from driving the vehicle to being outside. Oh my God, you see how close it was? We're going to Ilanka's house. Ilanka's one of my mentors and great friends. Just to spend some time with people that you love and get some more knowledge in you. The next day we discovered that the homeowners association of where we park the RV doesn't allow RVs. So Ilanka had to call a friend of hers to see if we could park at their farm. On the way back, Anju asked us to meet her dad. So we all got off and went inside, you know, to say hi to her father and 17 other people. Everybody just was so nice and so welcoming. And it's there that we actually learned about a very interesting beverage. What am I about to drink? Kombucha. A really tasty drink full of antioxidants. Is that, is that more of a trade secret? No, 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 it's a Himalayan. No, no, no. no. Yeah. It came from a Himalayan. Himalayan. It's it's there it's we go. It was a little overwhelming with the big group of people, but it was such a family atmosphere that it was very comfortable. So what are the lessons here today? A few things. Number one, expand your comfort zone. And what do I mean about expanding your comfort zone? A lot of times people travel and they have these perfect plans when they get a certain place. As for us, we always kind of look around and see new things and whatever captures our attention, we actually go out there and embrace and learn and ask questions and get involved with life itself. There's so much for you to learn when you open yourself up to all the beautiful things that we have. Number two, make sure you make time to expand your circle of friends. We have friends all over the world, in different city, in different states. And the important thing is that you should reach out. Even if you haven't spoken to this person in a long time, you'd be surprised, especially in today's world with social media, you reach out and they want you to come visit them. And they're there with open arms and open hearts. And you can actually experience certain things in your travels just by reaching out. And like always, I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as we enjoyed making it for you. And always remember to keep making it happen. And I'll see you next week. Hi, I'm Val and welcome to the family. Make sure to like, comment, and share. And subscribe, of course.